Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's episode 35. Oh, come on, G. Uh, <clears throat> come on, APC, let's go. We have, uh... You know, a blatant... A blatant ambush here. But, uh, probably very little that we can do about it. Except to just drive into it, so... Let's go. Let's drive. definitely did something. Okay. I'm alright. There's definitely one dude with a missile launcher, though. <clears throat> wow, he seems to have a very bad shot from there. In fact, he's almost dead. Which is probably a sure sign that he is actually missling himself from that position. Which is fine with me. I'll sit here and wait for him to blow himself up. Oh, maybe he's out of missiles now. I'm going to enjoy this, he says. As he pulls out a club. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Chalk one up for mother. You're a pile of bits. This is how you feel. Wow, he had an iron pipe. How do I get up there? Okay, there's a ladder over there. This is some weird terrain. I mean, this doesn't even look like a high position at all. Congrats on blowing yourself to bits. Oh, crap, there's another one with a missile launcher. Ugh, I don't think there's really an easy way to deal with these missile launchers either. Burst his ass. Oh, he crippled him. We took some serious hurt there, but that that super mutant is crippled, so he shouldn't be able to fire his missile launcher anymore. That should be the end of that saga. <clears throat> the guy with the LMG is obviously going to be an issue, but you know, 20 damage a hit is not not the end of the world. Okay, we're almost back up to full health. Sweet. Blatantly right there. <sighs> Forty damage. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, that really hurts. Whatever the hell he was shooting me with, it stank. <laughs> Still could really do with a DMR here. Okay, I'll do. Toolkits are melting away. <clears throat> actually, we'll probably be fine. I mean, we are actually gaining so many resources out of this mission. In terms of resources, I mean, you know, ammo and high-grade weapons. Okay. Where's the other dude? Oh, there's one over there. Okay, he's dead. Ouch! He's done 70 damage to me already. That. He did a hundred and two hundred damage. <clears throat> that is some serious damage. <clears throat> it's not the end of the world or anything, but yeah, two two toolkits definitely won't get you through. Ooh, a sniper rifle. A real one. A real boy weapon. What ammo does it use? 7.62. Originally 308, this one is chambered in the more common 7.62. I could almost wish it was 308. Um, Tell me, how much damage can I get with this? <clears throat> 18 to 46 with range 50. Beautiful. That's amazing. That is clearly the best weapon I have. With 50 range, we can actually outrange all those LMGs because they've got 40 range. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get this repaired. you get to get wrecked. It's such a weird dichotomy of enemies with uh Enemies with uh, lead pipes, which are, you know, 
obvious garbage. And enemies with <clears throat> really nasty LMGs. Someone is shooting at me. And I can't see where they are. Though it does feel like they're shooting from some insane distance. Oh, it's this idiot. You're not going to hit from all the way over there. Mate, the sniper rifle is demolishing you. <laughs> oh yes, we have found the tool. This is truly the weapon of champions. Leave the jeep where it is. Please stop making that stupid squealing, squeaking, moving noise. Fourteen missiles, god damn. He had enough missiles to end the frigging universe, okay. Glad we picked that one off quickly. I love that. And that. I really wish a death, a death claw would be able to take a super mutant, but I don't think it's likely. I'd love to just sneak up on one and shred them. That would be very cool. Very cool and very unlikely. Hello? I think it's time you received my disapproval. Wow, I knocked his ass out. Mama said, gonna knock you out. Going on here? What's going on here? You have allowed the mutants to overwhelm <laughs> our armored transport. Evacuation is now impossible. It's a mine, isn't it? It's going to be a mine. You can't get out of the jeep to look for them. Uh, out the APC to look for them. It's going to be a mine. Okay, well, he's severely wounded. Wow, the sniper rifle is like four shotting these guys, or five shotting them. Pretty effective. Nice.
probably not going to be able to stay sneaking here. Mines. Has, it has to have been mines. There's no way they shredded through all those HPs that quickly. Surely. It's gotta be mines, man. It's gotta be mines. go up there and search that upper area before or after I died. That would be an easy way to find out. Yep, that's a whole lot of missiles. Man, I, I will, uh, man, if only I could get five of those, five of those sweet sniper rifles. Okay, so what do we do? I guess we have to close in, right? There's, there's nothing else to do. Come on, Jeep. Uh, APC. Truly anti tank mines here? Did I just somehow lose all my HP in a very, very short order? What's your shot? 10%. Maybe it wasn't an anti-tank mine. Maybe the two guys that were here just genuinely shredded my health in seconds. still in the jeep. Uh, in the, I keep saying jeep. It's quite clearly an APC, but yeah. It's about fucking time some backup got here. Paladin Solo, commander of Talon Squad. It's not pretty here, brother. They're dropping bombs like it's the Great War. My troops are toast. I'm taking what's left of my unit and pulling out. Don't pull any punches with these muties. I watched one charge face first into some rough crossfire and laugh off the pain. Pull that APC up and tend to my soldiers. I can walk, but my squad needs medical attention. I'm not leaving until you get them on their feet. Hope you've still got a medic. Medic! I got a medic, man. You're gonna be okay. And I bring you powders of healing. Yes. Because I ain't wasting my precious medical supplies on your sh on your on your dirt bags. of healing
and I bring you powders of healing. Marines, we are leaving! Paladin Solo and her troops are now inside the APC. Drive them back to the evac point. APC! It's easy as one, two, three. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> APC. Baby, you and me and 30 millimeters of steel armor. <laughs> Let's see if we can kill some more of these idiots before we leave. Talking about this guy next to this box. Come on, I know you're there. Damn it. Oh, he's wounded, so he's obviously been sniped by me in the past. Mother bags another one. Oh, I think he just blew himself away with a rocket, which uh, is glorious. Always one of my favorites. seem to be safe. I'll come back here in a minute and loot. Oh! He must be out of ammo. Give him a burst of the old shotgun. There we go. Okay. Let's pop out and get that looting done, shall we? Mmm, sweet medical supplies. I wonder if those sweet medical supplies have been given to you just in case you uh, forgot to bring some and they didn't want you to fail the mission because you couldn't repair the uh, your allies. I love that. What is that? Browning M2. Minimum strength 9. 50 cal ammunition. Wow. 
That's uh, that's a weapon. Hey, it's one that mother bagged with a grenade. Holding a pipe. Oh, the old wounded boy is still there. <clears throat> I wonder if he can pick his ass off. You know what? Out of interest, let's just see. Can a wounded Deathclaw take a super mutant in a fight? And we're going to give her the benefit of being able to sneak up on the idiot. She managed to, but I can only imagine that if he had better weapons instead of stupid grenades, he might have gotten the job done. Anyway, whatever. We're out of here. He detected her very quickly as well. Like, it's shocking how quickly he detected her, considering that she's got, uh... 96% sneak? That's pretty solid sneak stat. Level up! I don't think there's anything I want to do at level 9. There's like better criticals. There's genuinely nothing I want right now. Doesn't look like there's bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage anymore either. We're almost at the necessary doctoring skill for... Uh... Let's just hold three points in my hand for now. We're almost at the necessary doctoring skill for... Um... Uh, for the anatomy perk. The more criticals perk is actually pretty good. <clears throat> but I'll consider it once I've reached level 12 and I've gotten the things I want. <clears throat> we want that extra point in perception. We want living anatomy, and that's two perks right there. Because you can never have too much perception in this game. You know, this battle is kind of like... the right way of putting it. It's like, you know, it's totally the wrong the wrong strategy for uh, them to try and fight these guys head up. I think you definitely wanted to try and snipe them out.
there's blatantly, you know, tons more ammunition and, and high-grade weapons to be had here. <clears throat> if you're willing to stay and try and pick off the super mutants. I mean, the sniper rifle is the tool you need to do it. But I can't be bothered. It's It would be like pulling teeth. Let's get out of here. I suppose the one problem with this vehicle is it's quite slow. Even on very flat terrain. You know, I never checked in that hut. I should give this hut a quick check. Ah, Brian leveled up as well. Now, unfortunately, if we mutate him for gifted, he's going to lose fast shot. And I do like fast shot on him. I might be I I would be tempted to just leave it and actually um, use gain luck and gain perception <clears throat> gain luck and gain perception so he can get the hand-to-hand -hand comb uh, the ranged damage increased perk Remember, it's my goal for all my combat characters to have the two ranks of range damage and the one rank of living anatomy. Because that is massive, massive improvement to uh, your range capability. You know what's funny? Like, how did Dagger Squad get so tightly packed that one missile wiped them all out like that? I know I keep my squad tight, but that's because it's a game. And it's, you know, difficult to manage otherwise. But in real life, and, you know, and part of the story, you would surely, they would surely would have been split, spread out. Precisely to avoid that one missile takes out the whole squad, or one grenade takes out the whole squad thing. APC Okay, I'm not gonna sing anymore. Mission complete. I don't think you have to do that objective. 
I mean, I actually don't think that's an objective. So, I've heard that there's some really good loot with, you know, enemies with depleted uranium ammo and all that kind of stuff. question is as to whether you want to plow into them. We could for a laugh just drive on in. If I touch that green zone then we'll leave the mission in instantly. APC. I've got it stuck in my head now. I've got that wretched song stuck in my head. Just want to get my boys to level 12 so I can grow them properly. Hey guys, can I have your guns? Plus. Oof. Well, that ended badly for him. Oh, this may end badly for me if I can't get unstuck from this bloody rock. Got him. Repair. <laughs> Thing is, they're shooting at maximum range with LMGs and I'm shooting with a sniper rifle and I'm definitely hurting them 63 on the rifle oh come on stitch you let me down now That moment when your ammunition runs out and you're like, well, my ammo ran out. Guess I better run towards the enemy like a screaming loony bin. Let's go ahead and help ourselves to some stuff. Was that supposed to hurt, he says? Says the almost dead guy? Mate, you're getting sniped like there's no tomorrow. And you're not getting any damage done in return. I'm still at 220. Oh, stop, stop, stop! Stop, APC, stop. I saw an opportunity for some more loot and I decided to take it. Why 
What are you doing, Step APC? <laughs> Medic! Guess I need to be outside the vehicle. Okay, that'll do. Let's see if we can drive in there. Because that's actually where old uh, Barnaki's squad was. A bit. The lure of loot is too strong. Gotta make sure I save in case this game crashes though. If we stop after a reverse, you get much less of the annoying sound effects. I'll have that. And I'll have that. Did I check this one? I did not. More grenades for Mother to throw. Always good. Right, we clean these ones. Let's have a quick sneak over here and see what... A hundred steak seems pretty bloody meaningless at times, doesn't it? That sniper rifle is really getting work done. What? Who the hell is detecting this? A hundred sneak friggin' death claw. Can I not just, you know, loot in peace here? Search that guy, didn't we? It's just this one that's left. Okay, the loot wasn't that exciting, but hey. Yeah, we'll leave the command center alone.
there's there are cheeses for which you can uh, I mean you can just basically uh, slowly snipe off all of those guys with your your DMR and gain yourself a load more ammunition and and uh, and uh, MGs and LMGs and HMGs but whatever I think we've got plenty Mother was kind of the star of the show, actually, in in uh, in many ways. Doing our looting, carrying our baggage, and blowing up super mutants with well placed grenade fire. Ah, far sight is leveled. There we go. One, two, three, four. Let's just say three. We gotta work on that doctor skill. Nine perception, so when she reaches level 12, she'll be able to have 12 perception. Uh, not 12, 10. We'll have to take her luck up to 6 to unlock bonus range damage. I think if we take his perception up to 6, he can unlock it too. Just a shame that we can't do it with him without losing fast shot. But I think fast shot really uh, I think fast shot is kind of this guy's flavor. Okay, perception nine for Stein. Keep working on that doctor skill too. When level twelve comes, we'll uh, we'll truly start to uh, bring these guys bring their builds together. For most of them, the issue is that they don't have luck level 6. You need luck level 6 for a uh, bonus range damage perk. Man, the shotguns worked hard during this battle. Welcome back, warrior. The elders have assigned me to be your commanding officer until we have further news of General Barnaki's whereabouts. Your former superior was a fine general, one of the best that I had the honor to serve with. Losing him has been a heavy blow to us all. The super mutant army destroyed a total of six full squads of our brothers. This is a large setback for the Brotherhood, since those squads contain some of our finest veteran soldiers. We shall not forget our brothers who fell in the line of duty, nor shall we let these feelings get in the way of our duty. 
Rest assured that intelligence searches for the general even as we speak. Until we have a lead on where the enemy is keeping him, you will be receiving all mission briefings from me. Go rest, warrior. You deserve it. After you are done recovering and grieving for our comrades, report back for your next mission. You are dismissed. Boom. Now we got some heavy weapons. The question is whether we want to use them. They have some serious friendly fire concerns. Okay, for some reason my Hummer is running. Okay, I guess that's mostly it for now. We found uh, all manner of weapons. Without power armor, I think most of my team cannot use them though. Not yet. Strength. Well, Stein's got eight strength, so he should be able to manage it. Let's have a look at these weapons. Okay, so we have the Browning M2, which you can't use because I haven't got enough strength. 40 to 50 damage, range 45. Okay, well that's crazy. And then we already had a look at the others. So the M60 is the poor man's weapon. And then we've got the saw, which is decent. And they're all operating on 7.62. Apart from the Browning, which runs on 50 cal. See, the question is, do you want to burn I mean, it's another real question here, is whether you want to burn 7.62 uh, like it's going out of fashion. Because that's what those LMGs will do. Okay. Maybe it would have been worth getting out and... sniping more super mutants and seeing what else I could find. Right, let's have a quick look at the briefing. Let's have a quick look at the quartermaster. We must, uh, and we'll go from there. What you got? Oh! Oh, two sniper rifles. How much do you want for those? Yeah, I want them. <laughs> yeah, I want them. Of course I want them. Uh, 
Okay, he's mostly got trash. Except a load of slug shells, which would be nice for our shotguns. I wouldn't want to throw plasma grenades. I mean, they're amazing, but they're really throwing money away. I wonder if we have any new recruits. Not yet. Okay. We have suffered another setback, brother. Most of our intelligence operatives were killed in the surprise ambush last night. I can scarcely believe it myself, but we now have to accept the possibility that the super mutants are familiar with our covert methods. What is left of our intelligence ops has discovered the location of one of the super mutant staging areas. The mutants have a semi-permanent military base in the rubble-strewn city of Jefferson. Additional reports describe multiple generators are supplying power directly to one large structure. Our scribes believe that this structure is a weapons manufacturing plant. You have two objectives to complete here, warrior. All right. The first is to render all of these power generators permanently inoperative. Without power, their factory is useless. Your second objective is to force the mutants into a route. If we can get them running, they'll lead us to either their main base or to General Barnaby. Gather your squad and leave immediately. Dismissed. At ease, brother. Okay. Scouts have followed one of the fleeing mutant groups to Kansas City. As we suspected, we have discovered another mutant base. But an assault on this compound will have to wait, for our scouts have made quite a discovery. One of our scouts stumbled upon the ghoul town of Gravestone. What little is known about the town suggests that it was a major nuclear launch site before the war. The peaceful ghoul population which resides there are suspected to be directly descended from the original silo staff. They are seeking our help due to super mutant attacks. These attacks mean the super mutants are after something the ghouls have. This leads us to believe that something might be an intact nuclear bomb. I shudder to think what the super mutants would do with such a destructive device. You will go to Gravestone bom, bom. and talk to the ghoul bishop. Assure him that we will defend him and his town in exchange for the very bomb coveted by the mutants. An attack is imminent, and it will take some time to get enough squads to fully safeguard the town. Your squad must hold off the mutants until Smear and Shadow squads arrive. Protect the ghouls of Gravestone, and don't let the bishop die. His knowledge of the nuke will be all we have. We will send Repo Squad to collect the nuke when the bishop consents. The Quartermaster will supply you with some Rad-X and Rad-Away. We advise you to monitor your radiation levels at regular intervals dismissed okay so we've got a defend the town mission with radiation on top just to make things exciting step, and what seems to be a straight up a straight clean out of just an area maybe a mission where we can finally play some turn based that would be nice Maybe the super mutants in these following missions won't be toting state-of-the-art weapons all the time. Okay, well, that's it for now. We've got much to do. And I'm sure that my giant pile of, uh, of MGs will be useful in selling for... for gaining my... getting my grubby mitts on some superior arms and armor. But for now, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.